I'm sitting here with Michael, comp beast <laughs> Michael, who was just evicted three to zero, and he says they did the right thing. You ran out of there to be, I don't know, make it dramatic, but you're not <laughs> mad at anyone. Like, why did you run out? Yeah, um, honestly, Julie, I'm not a hugger. Um, so that one's been torture for me, like premiere night hugging everyone. I don't want hugs, I'll hug them on finale night. And I don't know, I just wanted to make an exit. People said they doubted that you work at an <laughs> escape room. Yes. How did you feel the heat on you? Were you sweating it? Like, no, as an attorney, part of my job is to not sweat it or show that you're nervous. Um, I know that when people start to defend themselves really adamantly, they look more guilty. So I was like, you know what, I'll let you think what you want. And, but ultimately, I don't think it really is why I'm sitting here now. Early on, you decide to team up with Britney. Mm -hmm. What was it about Britney that drew you to her? Britney and I have said and joked, it was not smart for the two of us to team up week one. I was on the block, she was backstage, there was nothing we could really do to help each other. But just Britney's energy and her presence, I was really drawn to. We were both a little quieter in group settings. I could tell when she walked in the backyard on premiere, premiere night with the smile on her face that she was a super fan of this game. I said I wanted to play with other fans who understand, who aren't gonna be intimidated when I can run strategies and numbers. So I really felt like I found that in Britney and I do feel she was trustworthy for the most part. I think when she gets panicked and scared, she talks a little too much, and I think we saw that this last week, but ultimately I think that was the right call for me to have someone to bounce ideas off of and someone to have my back. Well, last week you and Brittany chose to share some things about Kyle. Yes. What Kyle said to you about divisions he thought he saw mm -hmm. in the house, and these conversations had taken place a few weeks back yep. before you were leave, reveal them to the house. Mm -hmm. Why did you wait? Yeah, there was a lot going into that decision. I think uh, at first I was, you know, quite frankly, I was kind of scared. I didn't know what to do. And I, you know, talking to Brittany kind of helped feel things out. The first conversations that Kyle had to me, things were a little more veiled. He wasn't as explicit. I think it was week six after he had won that veto, he made, you know, a pretty blatant comment that it was like, okay, there is no gray area of what you're saying to me here. And then after that, he, he was a veto holder that week. Everything was set. We went into Dyer Fest. He was outside. I was inside. And then coming back in last week was the first time when we were actually all back together. Brittany and I had talked more and just had time to think. I never like to act on information without having a full picture. That's part of my job. When I'm presenting evidence, I want to know the full story before I say anything. And I, you know, I'm not saying that I handled it the perfect way or maybe the right way. If I could go back hearing how it affected other people, I think I would have done something differently. I tried to do what I thought was best, but when don't you, make mistakes. Looking back now, is there anything you would have done differently? Oh, Julia, I'll probably walk off stage and think of a million things that I should have done differently. <laughs> but um, I think, you know, even looking back at my HOHs, I could have taken a shot at Monty, who won the veto tonight, or I could have gone back on my promise to Turner last week and gotten him out, and he won this HOH. But Yeah, do you regret that? Um, I don't. I, I knew I was getting into a position where I had to win my way to the end, but I was hoping that if there was some chance I didn't have to play that game, I didn't want to. I wanted to be able to stand up on finale night and say, these are strategic moves that I made, so I wanted to make some moves that positioned myself better. That's why getting rid of Jasmine that week, because depending on what happened at Dire Fest, if they all came back together, I knew Jasmine wasn't going to have my back moving forward. She would have flipped over to them. We're at a 5-3 to three if I sent Monty home that week. This last week, I... I don't think I was going to win this veto, unfortunately, Julie. Terrence wasn't going to vote to keep me. So I think no matter what, I would still have been sitting here. And I'm glad that I at least went about the route where I tried to put myself in a better position. And, you know, I'd be happy to see anyone sitting inside win the game. So. Well, who do you think sitting inside is playing the best game right now? It's tough. I think that I really do think Monty is playing a phenomenal game. He. Come, coming in, he is the tallest, biggest guy in the house, and he hasn't had to win competitions to stay in the game. And I think that's really admirable. People are noticing that he's playing a very clean game. I think he has a lot of respect on the jury. Um, I also think that Taylor's playing a great game. Look where she was week one. She was supposed to be out the door, and here she is in the final five, and I think she's in a good spot, um, kind of in the middle. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Taylor can take it all the way, but um, I think that Monty is probably playing the best game, but I hope that Taylor can, can stick in there. Looking back, do you think you made any mistakes in the game? Oh, Julie, I know I made mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> you are a huge, huge fan of this game. 
Was this experience everything that you imagined it would be? Oh my gosh, Julie, it was incredible. I thought that I knew everything about this game coming into the house and I learned a lot and I think that this experience as a whole was just so much fun. I would do it again in a heartbeat. People were talking the other day, like, if you had to like start the season over now and go another 85 days, and they're like, I don't know, like, yes, yes, <laughs> I would do it all are. over again in a heartbeat. <laughs> well, it's not over. Now you got to go to jury. Yeah. Like I, it or not. I think there's going to be some people who are very happy to see me for not good reasons. So. We'll see. Michael, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Julie.